Welcome to the Quawu 3 hand assembly video. You've probably spent days and hours printing each of these parts and you're excited to get ready to assemble the hand together. But first we're gonna have to clean all these parts. And so I'm gonna go through the various tools that I tend to use to do the cleaning. My favorite tool is the utility knife. This thing is really useful to scrape parts, clean parts, cut parts. It's, it's my primary tool. My second tool are these small files. I tend to use these small files to clean out the area where the hinges go or just, but these are kind of the files I use most of the time. I have another set of files that I use for the child size, a little bit smaller. They tend to be sold as jeweler files. I also use these larger files when I really need to smooth something. Um, printed parts that are maybe touching the print plate and various things like that tend to need a little more plastic taken off. And I use these larger files just to get to really, um, really clean out some plastic. Needle nose are great um, pulling off uh, tying knots. They're great for uh, pulling off supports, all sorts of things like that. These um, flat end um, clips are great. I use these all the time too for cleaning parts. Tweezers are great for tying knots primarily, pulling string through, stuff like that. All right, let's start cleaning these parts. Um, I hate to break it to you, but that's gonna be most of this video is cleaning the various parts. Um, I spend roughly an hour, maybe more, on each hand. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all the parts here for the entire arm while I've got all this equipment out for cleaning, but it really is the major part. So I pull the supports out, clean out all the various um, holes, particularly if there's drooping in, in the bridging over these holes. I like to get them all clean, um, clean all the edges so all my parts slide next to each other really well. Um, I'm gonna file the parts and then try them next to each other, make sure everything moves really clean. Again, the utility knife is my favorite tool. I use it to, to clean the edges and clean out parts most of the time. Let's try and fit these bolts in the hand, right? I tend to use a tap and die thread to clean out the threads. You can use a regular metal bolt, but I use the tap and die just because I have a set. All the threading on on the Quawu hand are in metric, so if you're gonna buy a few sets, they're all in metric. So sometimes I have to clean it out twice, but I like to clean it out until I can sort of put the bolt in there really easy. Right, let's move on to cleaning the socket itself. I'm gonna clean it mostly with a utility knife. I wanna get this thread from the bolt, wrist bolt, really nice and clean, so it goes in easily as well. So I'm gonna clean the threads off a little bit, both inside and out. I wanna make sure that this wrist bolt screws in nice and easy. Now, a lot of these parts are printed with really tight tolerances. Um, this wrist bolt is all with one millimeter tolerances. Very rare that you can have a printer that's really gonna print within one millimeter tolerances. So just be ready to clean these a little bit. Um, file these down a little bit to make sure that they slide really nicely with each other. Again, I'm gonna use the tap and die on the elbow bolts as well. Um, I like to use the 3D printed elbow bolts. I think they work fine, so I'll use the tap and die on those as well. You can use a regular bolt if you want to, to clean the threads. The elbow bolt in this ratchet area it's a really tight fit. This is one millimeter tolerances area. So expect to have to file this down and clean this a little bit to get these to move nice and smooth. And they should move nice and easy and smooth. Not a lot of slop, not a lot of wiggle, um, but easy, easily move. Whether you're doing the socket or the wrap design, you're gonna need to file this down a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all the fingers. This is how I usually print them, right? I try not to get supports inside any of the, the holes in the parts when I, when I generate supports because it's just hard to clean them out and it shouldn't be necessary. So again, I'm gonna file all these down, particularly the areas that touch the printer bed. I want these nice and round and smooth and the area where the hinge goes in, I want that all nice and smooth. I'm gonna test each of these finger parts to make sure they move. I don't feel any friction. No rubbing, right? Just make sure they go well. All right, I realize I'm putting the number two finger in the number three slot. Sorry about that, I didn't get to re-record. All right, now that we've got everything clean, let's start assembling things. 
I've got these hinges here and I've sort of lined them up in order of size just to make them easier to identify. I start putting the thumb together because it's the hardest one to put together and I like to know that everything's going to fit okay. If I didn't say in the printing section, but printing these hinges is a little tricky. Um, the humidity in the room, various things just makes the print slightly different every time. So if it doesn't fit just right, you might end up printing these hinges more than once just to get them to fit snug, but not too snug. So they should be snug so they don't fall out, but they should also slide in relatively easily. And the thumb is the longest hinge. It's the one I like to do first just to make sure everything goes okay. Because if I have to reprint hinges, I'll know right away with the thumb. Now I'm pushing this in. It should go in smooth. Often I need to use the needle nose pliers to help these, this thumb hinge go in, get a better push on it. I generally do the fingers in order. I don't think you have to, but I do. I start with the end hinge, right? I just measure each one, find the one that's supposed to fit there, put it in. Now the knuckle hinges are all the same. So you should have four knuckle hinges that are the same length. When you slip them in, they should go in pretty easily. They fit deeper into the hand palm itself now than they did in the version two. So that holds the finger in nicely so it doesn't um, fall out while you're still doing this part of the assembly. But it does mean you're gonna have to use a little tool to actually push it in there. Because it should be, again, a snug fit down in these slots. Now that I've got that finger in there, I'm gonna go ahead and do all four of them. Now I've got them all together, I wanna to test. They should bend nice and easy. I shouldn't feel any resistance other than the bending in the hinge itself. If I need to take it apart, file something down, now's the time to do it. All right, so now my hand is assembled, all my parts are cleaned and ready to move on to the next section. We'll see you in the next video, thank you.